G'day guys, I'm Kiara and today we're in Indonesia to talk about the amount of activity by Tabarus Indicus and how their activity is influenced by different moon phases. Camera traps are a useful tool to track the activity of animals, especially after dark. The activity of Tabarus Indicus, or the Malayan tapir, was recorded by Ray Koenig's camera traps which were set along two different transect lines in two different sampling locations. The Malayan tapir is a nocturnal animal and it's also a major prey source for the panthera tigris or as commonly known as the tiger. Both the transect lines were still included in the Bukit Barisan research site in Indonesia where both of the animals are found. Photographs of the Malayan tapir and other animals were taken when they moved past the camera traps. Different moon phases cast different amount of light and the full moon phase casts a significant amount of light whereas the new moon phase casts barely none. The aim of the experiment is to see if the activity levels of the Tapirus Indicus were different in the full moon phase to the new moon phase. I hypothesize that they will be more active in the new moon phase where the light levels are lower. This is because the Malayan tapir are prey animals so if they are active in lower levels of light, this will lessen their chance of being seen by a predator which will increase their likelihood of survival. The methods of the experiment included setting up camera traps along two different transect lines in two different study areas within the Bukit Barisan study unit. The camera traps recorded over several months including December, January, February and March over three years. Sightings of the Malayan tapir were recorded and the moon phase was too. For extra information, the tiger activity at this time was also recorded to look at the predator-prey relationships. The camera traps were set on rapid fire, night mode and with no delay. The results showed that there was an exponential increase in Malayan tapir activity in the new moon phase. This graph shows a clear increase in the Malayan tapir activity in the new moon phase. Data was analysed and presented a p-value of 0.2451. This p-value is greater than 0.05, meaning that the results gained were not significant. This could be due to variation between the plots, and if the sample size was larger, this may have produced more significant results. As an extra addition to this study, tiger activity was also captured on the camera traps. There was a slight increase in tiger activity in the new moon phase, but not by much, suggesting that they are following the increase in Malayan tapir activity. In conclusion, this research provides an insight on predator-prey relationships and strategies prey animals take to increase their likelihood of survival. In this case, the Malayan tapir were more active in low levels of light of the new moon and this is done to increase their chances of survival.